Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. How do you set levels for recording? It's a really simple question, but if you don't do it right, it can really jack things up for you, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned veteran. This is Recording 101, and since starting this channel in 2009, I don't think I've done a dedicated video on this, so my apologies. I'm making up for lost time. In this short video, I'm going to talk about how I set levels in a way that makes my life very easy and makes my recordings always sound good. Okay, let's dive in. Here is a session in Studio One. Now this, this theory, this principle applies no matter what system you're using, so don't worry about it. The microphone plugs into a preamp. That's the next step in the chain. Microphone, cable, that plugs into an XLR, the little three-prong jack. And wherever that three-prong jack is, whether it's on an audio interface or on a mixer, it'll have some sort of a gain knob attached to it. That's the gain, the volume for the preamp. It's how much we're going to amplify this tiny little microphone signal to get it loud enough to record and to hear. So if we look at the system I'm using, I'm actually using a digital mixer right here. You can't see it. I promise it's right there. I've got a knob here for gain, but since it's digital, I can actually turn that knob on my computer as well. So if you look here, as I zoom in on this channel, I'm going to turn the knob in real life, turn it up, turn it down. You can see it's moving here in the software and vice versa. So here's the problem. Here's what people will do. They'll think, they have this thing in their head that I need this, this meter here, which is showing the input of this microphone that I'm speaking into right now, I need this to be as big and as high and as loud as possible. It's just not true. The only benefit to getting it loud as possible, there is no benefit. The only thing that will happen when you get this as loud as possible is that it will clip. And clipping is bad. Clipping is when it goes all the way up and this little red light goes off. I can make it happen by clapping, right? We clipped seven times just then. So the way the levels work in most systems is the loudest part, right where clipping happens, is zero. Everything else is a negative number. So right now as I'm talking, just my normal talking voice, I'm sitting at about negative 12 here, average level. And when I say things a little bit louder, hey, I'm talking a little bit louder, it gets up to about negative 7, negative 6, which means I have another 6 decibels, which, by the way, 6 decibels is like double the volume. So I have a good amount of headroom above me, so I don't have to worry about clipping when I'm doing things like spoken word, which is what this setting is for. Um, but what a lot of people do is they'll say, hey, can you check the microphone? And they'll go, check, 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 check. And they'll keep turning it up. As you can see, I just turned it up to 51 decibels, and I'm already clipping by talking a little bit louder. But the person will say, check, 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 check. Okay, cool, it's not clipping. We've got a lot of nice signal. Wonderful, now start singing. Okay, I'm going to start singing. Okay, now we're clipping. What's the problem with clipping? I just turned it back down. The problem is it causes these little digital artifacts. The signal is like the digital system says, I'll give you this much pipeline for your audio. And if you go bigger than that, if you make your waveform bigger than this giant pipe we've given you, then I'm going to literally clip off the tops of those, those waveforms. So it ends up looking like this. Let's record something. Hey, this is Joe, and I'm going to turn up the gain until it sounds terrible. Up, 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 and now I'm clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping. I apologize for how that sounded, but it's, I had to do it. If we take a look at this waveform, if we zoom in, the part where I said I'm clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping. Clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping. You already heard that. I'm hearing it for the first time. It sounds weird, right? It sounds bad. Clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping. It's like a sort of thing that's happening. That's not what we want. If we actually bring the volume of this down, we think, oh, it was too loud, no problem. I'll just turn it down. Guess what? The clipping still happened. Look at this waveform. See how these are nice and bouncy and spiky? When we got up too high, they all have this exact vertical line to them because all these little spikes actually were supposed to go up higher but we hit the maximum limit and we clipped and they've literally like scissors been clipped off so even if i now after the fact i realize i repent of my ways and i turn the signal back down once it's recorded guess what i'm clipping i'm clipping i'm clipping does not matter i can turn it down really quiet and it's still going to sound like that i'm clipping i'm clipping i'm clipping i'm clipping what has happened we've ruined the recording friend of mine, his name is Ronan, he t tells a story of you can have 
the best musician in the world. You can have Jimi Hendrix sitting over there with his guitar amp, and you can accidentally record the amp with the wrong microphone, like a microphone on the other side of the room. You can do all these things wrong, but as long as the signal doesn't clip, you've captured something wonderful. But if the signal clips, you're dead in the water. He played this amazing version of... Um, all along the watchtower, this cool version for just you in your studio, and like a dummy, you turn things up to where it was clipping, and it sounds like this. And now I'm clipping, I'm clipping, I'm clipping. Even if it's Jimi Hendrix, it's clipped. You messed up. You done messed up. You done messed up! So, what we want to do here, the way we want to set levels, and the way I like to set levels, is to go really conservative. Um, you can always turn it up. I don't need a the menu right now. You can always turn it up later. You can't always turn it down and get rid of clipping, but you can always turn it up to make it louder. So in this scenario, if I was recording a singer, I probably wouldn't even have it this loudly. I keep it this loudly for spoken word because I just speak at the same volume all the time. But if I was singing, when I go to sing, I literally turn the preamp down so I can get a little bit closer to the microphone and I can sing as loud as I want. I'm singing as loud as I want. Now check that out. I'm not Jimi Hendrix, but I'm singing as loud as I want. Yeah. Okay. Sounds terrible. Not a great performance, but guess what? If we listen back to the recording. I'm not Jimi Hendrix, but I'm singing as loud as I want. And I say, you know what? I need that a little louder in the mix. That's not a problem. I can add some volume after. Look at that. I added a bunch of volume, and let's listen. It's going to sound pristine and clear, and it's not going to have any clipping. I'm not Jimi Hendrix, but I'm singing as loud as I want. Ooh, yeah. Vice versa, we push that preamp up, we clip, and then we try to turn it down, and it sounds terrible, and everyone hates us. So, I'm kidding. I love you. So, that is my theory. It's real simple. When you see the lights dancing, if you, hopefully you have meters that look like this where the signal goes up and down, try to just land it right in the middle when you're recording music. Because musicians will inevitably sing and play louder once the red light goes on, um, and you can have plenty of headroom for them to do that. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to focus on doing more videos like this to make sure we have our fundamentals covered really well, and we'll also get into more fun, advanced stuff as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.